What's going on guys, Matthew Modis here, and today we're comparing two of the hottest smartphones on the market. We're comparing the iPhone XS and the Google Pixel 3. We need to find out which one takes the better photos. Quite frankly, I think we all know it's the Pixel 3, considering the Pixel 2 beat out the iPhone XS in a lot of picture samples, but how significant is the difference with Google's latest offering? Now before we start, just a quick message from our sponsor. LastPass relieves the need to remember passwords and takes the anxiety away around getting locked out of accounts. In fact, I've actually been a LastPass member since November 2013, and I can personally vouch for their service. With LastPass, you don't need to write, remember, or reset passwords. You can keep track of everything under one simple interface. The best part about it is it auto-fills your credentials on mobile sites or apps for iOS and Android. When you open an app or site, LastPass will fill in your username and password, making it fast and easy to log in. Now all of your data is safe and secure in their vault with top of the line encryption. Plus, if you can't think of a password to make, LastPass will conveniently create one for you. The best part is it will be impenetrable. Stop getting locked out of your accounts and struggling with your passwords. Hit the link down below and check out LastPass today. So first up, we have the indoor shot. And as you can see here, both phones did a pretty good job, but I'm gonna give the edge to the Pixel 3. I love how it bumps up the contrast, makes those colors look a lot more vibrant, and overall gives it a more pleasing look compared to the iPhone XS. Now don't get me wrong, the iPhone XS looks good. However, it does lean towards a more warmer tone. And if you look at the colors around the rooster or hen, you can see they're not as contrasty or vibrant compared to the Pixel 3. Now we have the exact same shot, but we're zooming in two times. So on the iPhone, we're using the telephoto lens. It gets right up to that beautiful hen. On the Pixel 3, we're using Super Zoom, which is digitally enhanced to zoom in up to two times. Google's using software to recreate the image to make it look like an actual telephoto lens. Right off the bat, I like the color tones better on the Pixel 3. In fact, I actually think the digital zoom version looks better than the iPhone XS. If you look at the fridge on the right-hand side, you can see there's more noise on the iPhone XS compared to the the Pixel 3. However, the Pixel 3 is over sharpening the picture to make it a lot more pleasing. The next shot is a sky shot, and I do think the Pixel 3 is a lot more pleasing. I love the blue coming out of the sky. It's a very nice photo. However, I gotta give credit to the iPhone XS. If you look at the tree leaves, the shadows are not as dark. You can see a little bit more dynamic range because the Pixel 3 is a little bit more crunchy. It's harder to see. You're seeing that the Pixel 3 is compensating by using too much contrast. So I'm gonna give the pleasing photo to the Pixel 3, but the better dynamic range in this shot to the iPhone XS. Now we have a close up of a flower and quite frankly, they're both very similar. In fact, I wouldn't say one is better than the other. It's just the simple stuff that's been going on since the beginning of this video. The iPhone XS, again, is leaning towards a more warmer tone and the Pixel 3 is bumping up the contrast, making the picture itself look a little bit more vibrant. So this time we're getting really close for a macro shot. And this is where the color details really differentiate between both phones. And it's kind of the same story. The iPhone XS is a little bit more dull and that's just because the contrast settings are a bit lower. However, if you were to take this in post, bump up the contrast, I'm pretty sure you can get it to look like the Pixel 3. However, the Pixel 3 right out of the camera just looks really darn good. You can see the details in the small brown leaves. This is a picture I'm ready to use without having to do any touches. Now we're indoors, it's in a dark setting and we have coffee cups here. As you can see here, again, the iPhone is leaning towards a more warmer tone, giving the photo a more yellow look. Whereas on the Pixel 3, the, the coffee itself is a lot sharper, it looks a lot cleaner, but it is pushing towards a more reddish hue or purple hue, giving the photo a different look and style. I don't think any of them are terrible. However, if I had to choose one, I'd probably choose the Pixel 3. So now it's nighttime, this is a low light photo, and as you can see here, the iPhone XS again is leaning towards a warmer tone. However, you do see more detail on Carl's pets compared to the Pixel 3. I found the Pixel 3 to really bump up the contrast too much, making the background look fantastic, but because of that, you're losing a lot of detail on Carl's clothes. Also, if you look at the face on the Pixel 3, the side of it is very, very yellow, whereas on the iPhone XS, it's a little bit more neutral. So next up, we have a picture of this little truck. I think both phones have its own approach to taking this photo. So look, the, the, the Pixel 3 looks fantastic. It brightened up the image a little bit to make it look more appealing. The iPhone XS is actually more of what it looked like that night. They both handled the exposure very well. However, you do see more detail in the background with the Pixel 3. The lights inside of that studio are a little bit blue compared to the white light that's coming from the iPhone XS. I'm gonna give this one a tie. I think it really comes down to which preference you like better. 
So now we have an indoor bar shot. Again, both phones did fantastic, but as you can see, the Pixel 3 just looks a lot more appealing. It brightened up the lights, there's a lot more contrast, the image is a little bit sharper. The iPhone XS, again, is a little bit more natural, still looks great, but it's also leaning towards that warmer tone. I don't like the way the Pixel 3 is handling the skin tones on the bartender. Again, they're a little bit too orange, a little bit too red compared to the more neutral tone on the iPhone XS. Now in this photo, it's quite clear which phone did the better job. The Pixel 3 absolutely nailed it. The iPhone XS, which I took more than once, is presenting a very blurry picture. Her face is kind of mushed and grainy from bumping up the ISO. The highlights are not rolling off like they should be, and the background of the photo is not as crystal clean as the Pixel 3. So again, here's the exact same photo or similar photo using portrait mode. Much better now on the iPhone XS. The background is blurred nicely, but again, Pixel 3 absolutely nailed it. The blur in the background is great. The only thing it kind of missed is the light source on the right hand side, but quite frankly, I think it adds some character to the photo, making it a lot more pleasing to look at. Now it's time to talk selfies. Both phones did a fantastic job, but again, the colors, the vibrancy on the Pixel 3 is much better than the iPhone XS. Even my jacket, the blacks are nice and deep. You can see the details in my t-shirt. The background is nice and vibrant. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the my face on the Pixel 3. It's a little bit too narrow compared to the iPhone XS. Because it's not as wide, it makes my face look a lot more natural. Both phones are smoothing out the skin a little bit too much. That's happening because of aggressive noise reduction on the iPhone XS, and it seems to me that the Pixel 3 is sharpening my skin too much. So again, this is the exact same photo. The iPhone XS does not have a super wide lens, but the Pixel 3 does, and this is exactly what it looks like. I think it looks great. I love having the option of widening up the shot and getting more into the frame. So again, the exact same shot, but this time we're doing portrait mode. Both phones did a good job, but the Pixel 3 just looks so good. I love the vibrancy. Also, the background on the Pixel 3 is blurred better. If you look at the side of my cheeks on the iPhone XS, around the beard area, it blurred that out as well, which it shouldn't be doing. So edge detection is a little bit better on the Pixel 3. So this is the front-facing camera test. This is the front-facing camera to see how exactly how it looks on both devices. Right now, it looks like the iPhone is doing a slightly better job, but it's hard to tell. You can definitely tell the audio on both devices. Um, you guys let me know which one sounds better and of course, which one looks better. And finally, we have 4K video at 30 frames per second. That's what I set them on both devices. I think both phones are doing a fantastic job, but again, the Pixel 3 just looks so good. Very vibrant, colors are punchy. It just makes the video a lot more enjoyable to watch. In terms of stabilization, they're fairly even. If anything, I'm gonna give the slight edge to the Pixel 3. So that pretty much wraps up this camera comparison between the iPhone XS and the Pixel 3. Both of these cameras are fantastic, but honestly, if I only had to have one in my pocket, I would definitely choose the Pixel 3 over the iPhone XS. The only thing I think they need to fix is the audio. Besides that, Google is still killing it in the camera department and the crazy thing about it is they're only doing it with one lens. Let me know your favorite pictures down below and which one you thought was better. Hit me up on Discord if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.